Some people will ask me, when did you decide to become an engineer? I don't know that I decided to become an engineer. I think I was an engineer. I think an engineer is a little bit of who you are, not necessarily what you are. At IDOT, we have the opportunity to get our hands into almost every facet of engineering. We have designers, we have construction, we have planning and programming, and you just don't get that opportunity at many of our consultant firms. If you're working for a consultant, you're gonna be working on whatever they're getting paid to work on, so you're not necessarily gonna be doing just bridges or just roadways. You could just get random utility work or drainage or gas pipelines. It could be anything. At IDOT, we're the, the owners of all of these roads and bridges. You have to take the responsibility to make the decisions. Whereas with a consultant, you're bending over backwards to help to try and make your client happy where it's kind of the other way around. We're the client. I really became an engineer at IDOT. To be able to make decisions and uh, have real impact in, in real time. Going through the, the functions of building a project, working with a contractor, working with uh, public partners, and uh, it's, uh, that's not something that's taught in the classroom. I did work in the private sector. I worked at two different um, consulting firms um, prior to IDOT. And um, I have to say, I like IDOT way better. <laughs> As a large organization, the district has so many positions that as a private company, they might have only a few openings. Um, IDOT has a large structure, so there's something there for everyone. So because of all these specializations, we have a lot of opportunity to grow and a lot of opportunities for promotions. So if an engineer wants to put the effort, they want to learn, they want to be a great job, there's a lot of opportunity to grow. There's a large group of IDOT that's going to be eligible to retire in the next five to ten years and there's going to be tremendous opportunity and we need to get people here now to, uh, to be a part of that and, uh, and, and write the next phase of our story. Working at IDA gives you an opportunity to have a, a balanced life, so you're able to raise a family, you create great friends, you get, get to build a community with a lot of people. IDA has great leaders, great project managers. These are people that not only help me grow in my career as an engineer, but they also help me when I made the transition of moving from Puerto Rico to here. Uh, I never deal with the snow, and I still remember one of my first uh, supervisors like took me to to a store and it's like this is the snow brush you need. These are the equipment you need to like survive. I made great friendships, great relationships. Like, and it made it so much easier for me to do my job now. We have an excellent benefits package. We have excellent flexibility. That's something that was important to me. I knew that at some point that I would want to expand my family and um, I have been very blessed. I've been able to move up in the organization and still be a mom and still still be able to be there for my children when I need to be. It's, it's not frowned upon. It's, it's encouraged to have that quality, quality of life and balance. And uh, it's, it's a real hallmark here. We still have a pension. Uh, not a lot of places these days offer a pension. Paid holidays and sick time off. So you have peace of mind that you're coming to a work environment that's very professional, very secure, and you're doing a good service to help humanity and society around you. Besides just that perfect work-life balance, one of the best things about being a civil engineer is that we provide um, economic growth for the community. So it's just a really rewarding feeling that what I do every day has like a really good result. Going out to the site to see the projects that you've worked on is very fulfilling because you know that you're helping design something that's going to be there for long after you're, you're here. A lot of this stuff will be around for my kids and possibly their kids to see that, oh, you know, grandpa had a part of this or dad did this. It's hard to wrap your head around. You're kind of writing a part of history, really. What I like about IDOT, we are open to, uh, to new ideas, and I think that excites me the most about IDOT. Our managers are willing to, uh, to be supportive of any new ideas, and just the simple fact that we, we are the front, forefront of transportation, I think it is it's very important. And, I think it's valuable, for, especially for new engineers, to consider IDAT. Well, bottom line, accepting a position in IDAT has been the best decision I have made in my life. My coworkers and my supervisors provide me all the time and, and, and tools that I need. For example, I just um, became a professional engineer, um, and I received the support from them from, from the get-go. There's plenty of opportunity for young engineers like me to go and, and, and excel and have a, a great profession.
Engineers tend to be up for the challenge. We want to make the world a better place. And I find that here at IDOT, we try to find those innovative solutions to, to make that happen. I think when you work with people that all have that mission and all have that desire, it's a really enjoyable experience. And that's something that I do not take for granted. I love my job.